From the extreme desert dust we had in the air to record temperatures that Scott just talked about, the combination of the heat and that Saharan dust earlier in the week could create some trouble, double trouble for some when it comes to your health. Aaron Jones live for us at the Neil Horan Marin Morris concert tonight in Fair Park. Understand it happened as far as somebody being affected at the concert tonight. Well, Doug, now that the sun has set, it's a lot easier on us and the concert goers here tonight. But earlier they were struggling. We saw one woman collapse and others feeling faint. Tonight, doctors telling us if you take certain medications, you're at risk more than others for certain heat related illnesses. It's Friday night, and like everyone else, it's, it's insane. 107. Rhonda Stout is fighting triple digit temps. It's miserable. <laughs> Waiting to see Niall Horan and Marin Morris perform in Fair Park. Stout is sweating and suffering from allergies. Oh, they're horrible. You can't get a good breath. But if you want to go to something like this, you just have to do it anyway. Dallas itself is a very high uh, pollen and allergy area. And recently, dust from the Sahara Desert drifted over North Texas. Many allergy sufferers now turning to medication. In these times of extreme heat, you always have to be careful what you're taking. Emergency medical physician Dr. Van Ton with Methodist Charlton Medical Center says antihistamines can decrease the body's ability to stay hydrated and respond to heat, making you more susceptible to heat-related illnesses. <laughs> That's terrible news. <laughs> A lot of them are surprised. They're not. They don't um, take into consideration that certain medications, especially over-the-counter medications, can cause such um, dramatic responses. On top of antihistamines, also look out for beta blockers and stimulants for ADHD, which make it harder for the body to release heat, and diuretics, which rids the body of water. If they can avoid being outside during the heat, if that are possible, would be, would be the most important thing. But if you can't, like these concert goers, of all ages, stay hydrated. And um, I have water bottles in my bag and I have a mister. <laughs> something Stout is already doing. And during the summer months, Dr. Tan says his emergency room normally sees about 200 patients a day, but in recent days, they've been treating around 250. He says a good portion of those patients suffering from heat-related illnesses. Reporting live in Fair Park tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. And thank you very much. We also found out this evening Lone Star Park canceled all of their horse racing this weekend. Yep. All because of the heat, we stopped by right when some people were leaving the park tonight. They got the word. The state veterinarian recommended that the park cancel races out of concern for the horses. Lone Star Park did hand out hats and some free admission tickets for next season for those people who couldn't see any horse racing tonight or will miss it over the weekend. Whether animals or human, there is concern for all this weekend. If you are outside, and you start feeling faint, maybe feeling a little bit dizzy, feel sick to your stomach. You could be suffering from heat exhaustion. The recommendation then, get to cooler air immediately, get some water in you. Though if your head is pounding, bad headache, and you actually stop sweating, that is an indication of a possible heat stroke. That is far more serious. If you feel or see those symptoms on someone, you should call 911 immediately.